Good morning and welcome back to Daisy's Dog Dynasty part two. We just showed off Daisy, our dog, at the last end of the last video. She's all the way up at six points on housebreaking, but she's only got four in tricks and obedience. And apparently that's not enough to really win big. We've got two booby awards, which is so sad. Um, oh, look at that. Eldon wants to paint. I actually want you to play though, because that'll give you comfort at the same time. So Daisy needs a little bit more training, but she needs to do that when she has some energy. So let's we'll just take care of everybody's needs and really work on getting her show ready. Now I'm noticing I have a decent amount of money and I'm really tired of making them flush every time because they're not neat at all. So I'm just going to spend finally the auto flush. I don't really think the heated seats are necessary, but that's okay. Now I won't have to tell them to flush. I think their shower already gave them enough of a shower that we're okay. They don't seem to be hungry much of the time. They already have a dishwasher. That chair's working on comfort, so we're all right. So he needs, he needs a friend. Um, the career ladder isn't really a focus though. It's just a way to make sure that we're not broke while we're working on our dogs because we're not, do, not gonna do any cheats for this whatsoever. So she needs to have fun before she goes to work and he's actually doing well on social. So we could have them play together and Daisy's still sleeping. Whenever the dog wakes up, we will train. That is our focus. But who started that painting? Because whoever started it should finish it, right? Extra income. Glorious, glorious. Let's get this relationship happening. When they were dating, he just spent so much time in the restroom. He was always grumpy. Anyway, the relationship's going a lot better now that they're in the same household. It doesn't decay as quickly. Look at that. Cheering her on. Now, hopefully when they talk, it will be a good thing and not a bad thing. Oh, but she's gotta go to work. Kiss him goodbye. That'll be good. All right, we might not have time for the kiss. I'm just thinking this is not at 100 and I don't want to deal with it later. All right, I'll deal with it later. Can you get rid of your dishes, please? And the maid will get rid of that, so just go to bed. Oh, she's dreaming of her. Alden. <laughs> so cute. <gasps> the dog's awake and we're not? Okay, obviously. There you go. <laughs> Daisy. Okay, she's licking herself. And we saw in the contest that that was not something that the judges liked. Okay. So is her needs decent? She's still horrible on energy. She didn't go into her little pet house before. She napped on the ground. So her energy way worse than it should be. But just like the humans, if they fall asleep on the ground, their comfort goes bad. If the dogs fall asleep on the ground, their energy doesn't get good. Aw, I should have praised her. I never praise her for that. Anyway, her energy is so bad. I don't think we should train right now. That could go poorly, but she could probably do sit, sit and stay. Are they at 100? Yeah, they are. So we're good. Best thing to do would be something right there. 
It takes so long to switch tasks. But I'm hoping that the dog will get the obedience points from staying while he's right there to paint. I think the dogs sit there longer if the human is next to them. I don't know if it's true. I just think so. <laughs> so, oh, isn't this cute? Just like every one of us, a maid making our bed while our dog watches us paint. <laughs> So not super realistic today, but still fun. The obedience point is rising. It'll do funny things if I speed it up. So we're just gonna watch. I don't know if we're gonna get into actually showing the dog today. Um, going up by one point didn't change much and it costs money every time we show the dog. I thought it was just gonna cost one time to join the club. But apparently we will be charged every time we show the dog. Although I don't really want to miss any rewards. Like we have the booby prize right now. I don't want to go straight from that to whatever the number one thing is. So I guess we will show off Daisy at each progression possible. His fun's doing well. She's almost going to get this full point. No, come on. Oh, she's going to sleep. She's going to sleep before the sit and stay. All right. Well, that doesn't work out. Aristotle, get out. You're not my pet. Don't be walking in here, peeing on my floors, eating my food. All right, this is good. She'll get real sleep and then she'll be able to train later. Meanwhile, you need to eat. I wish eating didn't take so long for them. You know what? We're going to do that. We are going to, something I've thought about before, here in our appliances, this one gives seven, while our stove, go to the stove section, okay, gives us five. So that's combined 12 plus this one gives three. So if we've already got 10, that's the full bar and we don't really need this one. Well, we only sold it for 120 when we paid 400 for it. But if we've got the food processor, that's a plus three processor. And we go ahead and get the most expensive fridge. This is already a 10. That's gonna be the same hunger value as our stove gave us without the extra time. Time. Let me know if you think this one's genius or if I'm just wasting my time. But here we get the wonderful shopping music, so never a waste waste. This should cut down on the time it takes to fulfill their needs. Um, I don't really think anyone needs a meal that's hunger 17. They don't get fat in this game, so it's not a problem. But watch your hunger needs go up without having to put it on a stove. This is going to be so much faster, which if I was planning to do this all along, I could have not bothered to make them get the cooking skill, which is just so that they don't burn everything down. I could also get their cooking skill up. Really? Really made? She's going to fall asleep on the floor. We have a sink. We have a sink. You're going to charge me for picking up my plate and setting it on the ground? Can I fire her? I'll dismiss her. She's already. I don't want to fire her because we have no one better to hire. So the meal looks different. It looks more like a salad now because it didn't get cooked. But his hunger's climbing. Oh, Daisy's peeing. No, she's not. It's some other dog. If you praise them while they go outside, that's what's good for their housebreaking skill. Daisy has not once gone inside the house. And I am so like, I don't know what's going on. Like proud of this dog, but at the same time, we didn't get to scold her for going inside the house. So I wasn't sure how to get her housebreaking skill up. Oh man, that didn't work. Your hunger should be complete when you're finished with the meal. Oh, I thought I was being brilliant. Um, I still want to try it on her though, because she has a higher like cooking skill. Maybe she can make meals that will be satisfying. 
without the stove. That's the main goal here, because if we can do it without the stove, she'll just make our meals and oh, that's not simpler. Oh, I was really hoping for a full hunger bar there. Oh well. I still want to try it with the girl. Yeah. I would buy it back right now, but I'm intrigued. All right, he's gonna have to go to work soon. You can see that I have a table here. We used to have a computer. Uh, the thief came. I did not have a burglar alarm. That's like Sims 101 is by a burglar alarm and I totally didn't. And I got robbed majorly on my very first day. So that's a problem. Oh, look, so cute. Even though she was asleep, Daisy woke up to greet Mary. And yes, Mary has two R's because the original goal was for Mary to find a husband. Or I just wanted a wedding as fast as possible. All right, so her mood's terrible, but the dog's mood is doing well. Can she train? She can't. She's doing too poorly to train. Um, we'll go up two points. I really doubt that it's gonna matter from one point. And I don't see her extra obedience point. We were already at four. Did she not finish it yet? All right, so Eldon, what are you doing? You do not need a quick lunch. You have already eaten today. I know it wasn't satisfying. Just go to bed. I know you're tired. Just have her stay, then you need to, you need to eat and sleep, like we all do. <laughs> Let's see if she falls asleep while she's making her food. Yes. All right, you can stop. Do whatever you wanted to do. It worked. All right. So her hunger is not completely red, but how will this meal without a stove do? We have the best fridge possible. Our fridge even improves our room right now. We probably get rid of a couple plants or sleds. It's a oddly decorated house, but it is working for their needs, which is the point. I could fix it up. I should fix it up. Look at this. Like, Come on, the wallpaper, the bathroom, at least the wallpaper and the floor match. Even with the bedroom, I can make that argument. But in this main room here, what is this double textured wall? It's just bugging me. Let's, let's get rid of that one. Control shift, all right. Um, not crazy about any of it. All right, we can afford good stuff. So let's just skip to the expensive stuff because it's gotta be good, right? Um, no. <laughs> $12 a panel to look like, oh, that's bad. But you know what, it's expensive. So maybe my Sims will like it. We'll just put it on one wall. And what else? What other expensive interior do we have? You know, maybe we're just on the accent wall page. This could be an accent wall in the bathroom. Look at that. All right. Even though we've got the money, we're frugal, so we'll get the money back for the painting first. I do not love that. I do not. Is there only... I just can't stand it. Okay, what's going on here? Weathered by Ivy. Okay. But there's no Ivy. Anyway, if we can make like a whole scene out of that, that might be fun. But yeah, yeah, we could have some Ivy. We could pretend there's Ivy growing. Oh, come on, wall, get back up here. See, it just doesn't blend well with what's around it. So we're gonna skip that for now. What else is good? What does this look like? Oh, that's really pleasant. 
Oh, that's really pleasant. It does not go with our accent wall. Sorry, accent wall. <laughs> oh, you're probably looking at this like, why did she love that? But I do. As far as what we've got here, that is pleasant. It probably reminds me of the vacation one. Um, how is this not a part of all? Okay. We just need a floor that goes with it. How hard can that be? This is literally terrain. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would have gone with that accent wall we didn't choose. That goes pretty horribly. <laughs> sure, we could do that. It's warmer, feels more homey. Not wonderful, but you know, we're closer. We're on our way. We've improved the house. Let's see, did that help them? Do they like the house better now? They couldn't care less. Okay, what's wrong with our layout though? Like, the layout is supposed to be where everything is convenient. Smooth movement through the home. Um, we've got that. We so have got that. Let's see. I'm gonna guess that you really want. You probably don't like walking to the end of the house for your fridge. We could move it to this corner. Oh, we could, we really could. Um, but let's not get too distracted too early. They don't love the layout, that's fine. We are just trying to get our dog up and running, who needs to go to sleep. Come on, Daisy, go to sleep. Go to sleep, you little baby. All right, and you're needing to go to work. So do that and sleep. So how is your hunger doing without that stove? Don't stop there, don't stop there. We had a full meal, it wasn't a quick one. And nope, she didn't get all the way up. So we'll have to get We'll have to get a stove again. Okay, so you can't make the dogs do anything except go places, but I really want her to sleep in her bed. Yes, all right. And my no stove plot just did not work. I don't really need a sink because the maid didn't even use it. So I'm gonna keep the processor next to it. I thought I was being so cute with my little trick on how to save some time and money. We're gonna have to buy it back. We sold it for 120 and we're gonna have to buy it for 400. We could buy a standard plus brick oven for bakers. Does that work as a stove replacement? It's hunger six. I've never seen it before, so it might be from an expansion I'm not ready for or used to. This one's hunger seven and I know it's gonna work. I'm really curious, this might not work. That's for bakers, it's not just for people. Um, well, if I kept the counter, this is hunger seven. They're both hunger seven. It doesn't matter. But they don't need more than this. Hopefully, that's what I said last time. We're just trying to fulfill their basic needs so that they can train the cat or dog. Dog. I saw a cat over here. Do, 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 do. You need fun, but I don't want you to have fun. I wish that training your dog was fun for you. Oh, 
time to wake up. Daisy's needs doing pretty good, but not great. So we're actually going to sit. Oh, she didn't need to sit. And the other thing, I keep on having them go to bed whenever they're tired, but it's just taking a lot of time. So let's get something that looks halfway decent in this room for the alarm clock, which has to face the correct way. There you go. And we're actually gonna get a couch in here instead of that random table and chairs because we're gonna be taking a lot of naps. We've got this dog we're trying to train. We do not have time for full night's sleeps. We want one that's too wide that does decent on energy. So that's four. This is energy five. I don't know if we can get a two wide that's better than four on energy. So as soon as we move up to the three wide, we've got a higher energy count. So. We're not gonna do better than five on energy anyway. So back to our cheapest energy five option, which is, oh, but the comfort would like go down on that one. We don't need crazy comfort. I guess I lied, we're not doing the cheapest energy five one. Sammy's stretch out sofa. Oh, that looks so bad. Yeah, this one at least matches the room. There we go. All right, napping is now an option but not for you. You're gonna go over here and then you're gonna call the dog so that everybody has good room. Oh, and now can we praise the dog for coming? Yes, wonderful. I'm gonna praise my sim for doing it. Oh. Tricks. Train low flip. Are you kidding? How fun is that? A low flip. <laughs> is the relationship good enough? We're at 100. Yep, this should work. And five bars, good enough to show, really. Oh, her hygiene goes up when she licks herself. I really want to see this low flip. Oh, there she goes with her arms. All right, we're gonna try to get the dog in the air. Nope, didn't work, okay. Flamin, come on, come on. And, oh, we got that one already. We want the low flip. Give us the low flip. In the air, wow. That is, <laughs> that's our thumbnail. Low flip. That really looks like she's gonna wipe out, but that's okay. Daisy is on her way. She's gonna be a star. Look at this. She's got one more obedience skill. Her tricks are up. Well, <laughs> up by three pixels, but she's working on it. Mary's not dying. Not a skunk. True danger right there. All right, so you're gonna get the mail and then go to sleep because you're about to collapse. All right, she'll be about that bad when she gets home from work because she's just gonna train the dog until she goes to work. Unless she pees herself first, so hopefully not. Is his mood better than hers? A little bit. He should keep training the dog so he's not gonna go to sleep afterwards. And you just aren't doing so great anymore. So take care of yourself. I have to make you eat again since I tried to cut corners earlier. And do we have the option to train out here or is the mood too bad? We totally have the option to train out here. Don't get the mail, just train the dog. This is what you are here for. We don't even have to pay the bills until we get a notice. All right. No, come on. Isabel. 
praise because it's going well. Okay. And good. Really good. After that, play some of this. They wouldn't keep watching TV and it was loud and annoying, so we have pinball instead. This is gonna work. Uh, we can probably train on their next Sims day. Wonderful. Don't stop. Yes. I'm going to praise her, right? I told you to praise her. Okay, good. Wow. All right. Dog needs to sleep. Human needs to sleep. Well, Sim needs to sleep. Is his fun okay? Yeah, his fun is fine. He just needs sleep. All right. Can we get the dog into the dog house? Into the dog house. <laughs> it's usually a bad thing, but not in this game. Good job. I wish I could praise her for going in and we could like learn that skill. All right. She's doing all right. Don't complain about it. That's taking away your time. Car's coming soon. All right, good job. You will need to have breakfast. Get up. Pay them bills. Feed that dog. How are your needs doing? You are all right. This could be money, so we're going to drop everything. And it is! Your personal fan club has erected a fountain in your likeness. You're officially designated a living legend. Collect the 1,400 small hands thrown into the fountain by adoring fans. And why wouldn't they? <laughs> Yes, that is the best thing. You have a job to do. And actually, she's got all the needs. She's got everything. So your job is to get your own needs up. All right. No, no, no. Fill that bowl. Clean that up. Pay them bills. Then you can play pinball in peace. How are her needs? Her hygiene isn't amazing, so he'll probably need to do that next. Um. Ooh, how is her? She's gonna nap. Oh, love this. Love that napping is here. Also praise the dog. Didn't work, all right. But Daisy's needs are decent. So as soon as she's done with the bath, we're gonna hit up that judge. Can he praise her for doing well here? Oh no. Elden's gonna skip work today. That's just the way it's gonna be. It's 400 dogs we're not gonna make and 150 that we're not gonna spend, but we have to show the dog. Daisy has gotten a new point in both categories. Um, yeah. How's Fetch going here? Is she going to go get it? She's not, really? Is something wrong with her mood? Oh, she needs to sleep. Okay, fine. So we'll let him go to work. Will she sleep? 
Sleep. 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 Alden's mood is decaying rapidly because he's not even able to go to work. Members of household present and ready to go. That's not happening. Oh, it's because that cat that we shooed is asleep in the road. All right. The shuttle never came. That's fine. What time does he get back from work? Are we back at 4 p.m.? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. That makes more sense. So she needs to sleep until 12 and then call the cab. Daisy's sleeping too, which is great for her mood. All right, time to wake up. We can fill that bowl. Oh, praise her, praise her. I want to praise her for going outside. She's not going anymore. We could start on the next one, but it seems kind of counterproductive. So let's have a quick dinner and call that cab. Call that cab. Call that cab. Ellen's back. Not in a wonderful mood, but that's okay. She will need to change. Uh, change her work, why not? Oh, I love that car. I love how it had that driving away sound while it's still there and honking at us. Yes, let's see how this goes. Our dog's mood is not full, but I think that's going to change because it's room that's bringing it down. Um, we'll pet because that always goes well. Yes. Good, good, good. So eager to get on. I love how like the dog knows that that one's for her. Like, how does she know? But, you know, that trolley dings and she's getting in. She's excited. When they come for work, when the carpool comes, she doesn't go greet the carpool. She only greets the carpool when her Sims are back. How does she know? There's some extremely intuitive dogs in Sims 1. And I love it. Well done. Now, this time we will not be deceived by the pet sign. We're gonna go straight to the one that has the opportunity. There's our look-alike. Hello, Claire. Is he gonna greet her? Oh, they are so excited about having a pool in this place. That's okay. Her mood's much better. Yes. It does say near future. Should have caught onto that the first time. She's doing well. She does not need to use the bathroom. Daisy's running around. Do pet show. All right, we've got five bars. I would say a full, full needs, but the energy's not full, but we've got five bars. The energy's still green. Can she jump up yet? Can she jump up? <gasps> no. Not a good start. Pretty sure, like, the moment Daisy's able to jump up is the moment when, like, we'll get a better rating. Does my Sim need to be in a better mood? Just don't fight. The dog's in a good enough mood. That's the perfectest green. <laughs> That's as green as that gets. There's our look 
No biting. It did sound like she said nice dog. Head shaking, that's not good. No more disappointing things. I don't know how I'm supposed to be reacting to this. Third place! Yes! You are definitely showing promise as a future contender for the blue. Coming in third is nothing to be ashamed of, but there are a few things you need to work on to get your pets into the upper echelons of this pet show. Yes, yes, yes. We're not, we're not getting the booby award anymore. We got a third. So can we praise our dog? Can we praise her? I wish praise was an option after this. Um, we'll just pet her so that we can praise her after that. Meanwhile, you're almost asleep. So just call the cab. There's that praise you deserve. Does her inventory have it? Yes, oh look, and it's got that pink ribbon and it's silver. Silver for third, okay, I would have expected bronze. Does that mean the blue ribbon with the gold, like, has a gold with it? Okay, this is gonna be good. Glad we went with five, so apparently five is what we need in order to move from the booby prize to an actual placement. This is good. No, you're not going to buy a pastry. We don't have money to just throw around like that. Here, why don't you talk to somebody? We don't have any friends in this game. Here, you can talk to Lycinia. Oh look, now you met somebody, that's good. She probably won't come over, but that's okay. Go home. <gasps> All right, I'm going to put some more lighting in because I want to be able to see it. Um, we've got that fan. It's got something coming out from the wall. I just want to be able to see these when they get in. Um, not a lot of great things. Perfect. Now we can see. I could even put a, I should have put a standing lamp right there. Look at that. It's a corner. That's way better. I'm not trying to select the object in use. Yes, got it. Okay, and we have a fully lit room. So we can see our prizes coming in. Here we go. <gasps> oh, top shelf worthy. Is he gonna admire it? He's gonna admire the lamp I just bought. Can we not admire that at all? All right. He needs a terrible. Use that in shower. You are also not doing well. Go to bed. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching part two and we actually got that prize this time. So looking forward to catching up with you all. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got tips, tricks, or just enjoying Sims nostalgia. Until next time, this is Millennial Girlfriend Games.